the aura. for saving me. This isn't much, but I want you to have it. You rounded off any fugitives? Best of luck out there. I've procured. Please, have a look around. Of course. See you next time. Let's have a little chat. Oh, I like this. No problem. I'm always happy to talk. I just posted a letter to my older sister. Have I ever told you about her? When I was a kid, I used to get bullied a lot for wetting the bed. It was always my sister who stood up for me. I'm forever grateful to her for helping me stop that bad habit. Our mother died young, so it was really my sister who raised me. What's your family like? I assume you're not actually tied by blood. Well, it's our heart that tells us who our family is. Who cares if you're really related by blood? Do you remember Izo Akada? We share no blood ties, but there are times he's felt like my own counterpart. I know he sometimes takes things too far. But to me, he's one of the good guys. From here on out, you're going to be meeting all sorts of people. You're bound to get close to some of them. And before you know it, family. Who knows, maybe it'll even happen to you and me. <laughs> Let's have a... Oh? It was a gift from Shinsaku. He bought it in Shanghai. Made by some American company, apparently. Obviously, I'm more comfortable with a sword. 
But it definitely comes in handy, in a pinch. I don't like how the Red Demon's gone about it, but opening up the country is a good thing. There's amazing stuff in the West. Ah. So long! What are you... You can't be too prepared when it comes to medicine. Very good. Is there anything else? Very good. Very good. Please be careful. You can't be too... Please be careful. I can't say I'm not, but it's not at all like before. Hey, you've heard of Nezumi Kozo before, right? He was a crazy son of a gun who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. These days, I've been trying to model myself after him. After all, when it comes to stealing things, the great Gonzos are pro. Ever since I met you, I feel like I've begun to change my... Uh, never mind, uh, forget I said that. I uh, earned a bit of money at the gambling den a while back. Oh, the dice shooter there is one fine-looking lady! In fact, I gave her all my money just to win her favor. But, uh, <laughs> In the end, she ran off with uh, some thug, <laughs> I'm told. Thanks to her, I'm flat broke. If only she give me back my hairpin. Uh, it was tortoise shell, you know? Oh. I'm glad...
couldn't be happier. Truly. What? Now, I will help you, but I have a request. I want you to find out who is threatening Mr. Harris's life, and I want to know who's in charge. So, how about it? Do we have a deal? That is a relief. He is hoping you will find the samurai you are looking for. I'll alert you when the moment is right.
won't lay a finger on me! It seems there was quite the kerfuffle in there. Are you all right? Did you manage to find out who was threatening Mr. Harris? Is that right? So it's our intimidating friend, Mr. Katsura. And did you see the samurai with the demon's claw? You almost sound like you're searching for a lost love, you know. Regardless, you proved every bit as reliable as I thought. Do come see me if you ever need my assistance. I dare say I shall have more favors to ask. It's 
spite of Harris' close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. It's clear you're made of stern stuff. How would you like to help us dispense some justice? We intend to punish a wicked official who's moved into the village up ahead. 
He's a villain who torments the people and deserves what's coming. Excellent. You have my thanks. Now, the man is surrounded by lackeys. We need to think of a strategy. We could overpower them if we all stormed the village, but there would be casualties. Alternately, we could sneak in and take them unawares, but it would limit our numbers. What approach do you think is best? Attacking in force or striking from the shadows? What? You would do this alone? All right. Just be careful. You hear me? Right. If it's decided, then let's not waste any time.
You infiltrate their ranks. It's done, and we have you to thank for it. It was truly amazing, the way you fought. The official and his lackeys didn't stand a chance. We must keep up the good work and purge Japan of as many of their ilk as we can. What is it? Does it hurt somewhere? Here, use this. It works wonders. I'm glad that our paths crossed, my friend. Our country is safer with people like your good self on watch.
You there! Mind lending me a hand? You can't be too prepared when it comes to medicine. Very good. Please be careful. I ordered some wares from a hawker, but he's taking forever to bring them. Dangerous as it is out there, I don't dare go to check on him. You look like you can handle yourself. Could I trouble you to find the hawker? Truly? Oh, thank you. Now, as I recall, the man said he usually passes by a big ginkgo tree. Rumor has it bandits prowl the area. And I just hope nothing bad has happened. Oh, <laughs> 
Shame about that peddler. I suppose I should have acted sooner. Nevertheless, thank you for retrieving the goods. Be sure to speak to any of my merchants you happen to come upon. I'll see to it they're well stocked. You there! Hey! You've seen more than your fair share of patterns, I'd wager. I can see it in your eyes. If you have a moment, I would like to talk. I'm a broker. One who seeks the services of Ronin like yourself. Would you be interested in taking on a job? The request comes from the Commissioner's office. There's a particularly dangerous criminal that they'd like to get rid of. Practicing with wooden swords doesn't necessarily prepare you for an actual fight. I'm more likely to find a hardened warrior in a place like this. Good. Take care of it as soon as possible. And be careful. The man is a skilled fighter who's cut down countless officers. There you are. It's done, I take it. Well, I never said that it was only one man, did I? Besides, if you couldn't handle that lot, I figured you wouldn't be useful to me. Come, come, don't be so angry. By way of an apology, I'll pay you extra. Now then, another request has come in from the Commissioner's office. This time, they want an officer dealt with. You'll do it, yes? It's a matter of saving face, I imagine. They can't take action themselves, so they turn to us to do the dirty work. What the man has done, I'm not at liberty to say. My clients expect me to be discreet. Excellent. From what I've been told, the man's downright scum. Don't hold back. 
Just because she's an officer, you hear? Against your lord! Damn. We've been seen. Kill him for me, will you? Ah, you're back. That officer was scum. Just like I said, yes? So, you found out. Well, no matter. I'm the one who wanted him gone, I confess. That's why I sent you. I'm sorry I died, but there's no changing the fact that he was a vile human being. You'll be paid for your service, so I trust there aren't any complaints. Now then, the next job I have for you will be the last. I figured it's about time I washed my hands of this business. The task is to eliminate a killer who's been terrorizing these parts. Child's play for someone like you, I reckon. You need to have a thick skin to survive in this profession. Don't take it personally, hmm? I appreciate it. You're a good sort, you know that. You are wasted as a ronin.
If I cut you down now, the truth will be buried along with your head. Don't hit it I'm grateful for your cutting down. Oh, I'm to wash my hands of this thing. I need to dispose of you. Excuse me, but could I ask you to do something for me? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I am looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought, and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. I haven't seen her in years. But she must be exceedingly beautiful, like her mother. Indeed, she has her mother's distinctive hair and features. You'll know when you see her. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself.
You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? A foreign merchant bought out her contract, and now they live together. Here, I'll give you their address. Must thank you. Thank you. Those expulsionists are truly an awful bunch. But tell me, why are you here? Surprised? You see, my mother was Dutch, and my father, Japanese. My father? Why? What could he possibly want all of a sudden? He abandoned me years ago. I know life's been tough for him, what with his business going under and mother passing, but I just started to forget about him. The selfish man. Ever since I can remember, my face has brought me nothing but pain. Even as a geisha, I had to dye my hair black. Is Papa really so ill? Very well then. You may take my photograph. Also, you can let him know that I'm happy. I'll let you take care of the photograph. I'm not ready to meet just yet, but I'll consider it once I've sorted out my feelings. Photograph. Well, show it to me. Ah, oh, Lisa. Goodness. Look how beautiful she is. 
I really can't thank you enough. You've really given me hope.